before the video starts, I just wanted to tell that for some reason, uh, sometimes my camera picture appears laggy on the video and I have zero idea of why it happens and how to fix that and it kind of ruined the first few minutes of the video, so sorry about that. Now it's like, it's properly functioning and I have no idea what I'm doing differently this time, so... Um, so just, just, just bear with me, okay, thanks. Welcome, or welcome back. Do you remember the times when I was doing stuff like, you know, uploading videos and all that? Now the thing is, the last time I uploaded a video, it was like two months ago. More than two months ago. <laughs> oh, this is, this is starting really well. Now the main thing that I was doing at this time is I was uh, working on my yearly Halloween project. You know, every year since uh, 2020, I attended Mavs Drawloving Club. It's pretty much like Inktober, but it's a dedicated Halloween prompt list. And I attended every year, and I and this was my fourth year participating. And I'm still not finished with the whole prompt list. I was planning on releasing videos about it. I'm feeling like I'm going to make two videos of this project, maybe three if I end up combining all my pictures on one giant piece like I did last year. And at the same time, I'm working on two requests. One of them is like really counting on me. General struggles of any wannabe artist, especially in the year 2023. I wanted to make a really quick video just to get back on track, a simple project for today. Earlier this year I started a series titled Three Frames a Painting and I just kinda discontinued that series after two videos and I want to start it again. My idea for this challenge was uh, making frame studies in a fun way. I feel like everyone makes frame studies from time to time, the whole internet is uh, filled with them, but people always choose very specific frames that they really like instead of uh, picking them randomly or I don't know, people might compile frames to turn into studies or something, but you're never really forced to work with whatever you have in front of you. So what I came up with is I picked movies, I did it with the first two Harry Potter movies, where I, I randomly selected three frames from each movie and I turned them into frame studies. There's a catch to this challenge, any movie that you choose, you have to choose three random shots from the movie, I will be using random.org for this, and you have to complete all three of those studies within the time frame of the movie. I actually started filming a third one for the third Harry Potter movie, but uh, it went really bad and I <laughs> was just like, okay, into the garbage it goes, let's just discontinue this and never, never bring it up again. But today I decided to break this silence and film a really quick three frames a painting video. Today's pick is the movie titled House of a Thousand Bodies. YouTube doesn't really like, you know, harsh words, so I'm going to call it House of a Thousand Bodies, but instead of bodies, there is something else in that title. It is one of the movies by Rob Zombie, he's actually his first movie, and I always say that this is my favorite horror movie and I've been wanting to turn this into a three frames of painting challenge and I decided that this is just a fine day for doing so. So let me just grab the movie and we will start right away. Now the movie is almost 89 minutes long, I just rounded it upwards, so let's generate three exact seconds from the movie. First one is going to be 41 minutes and 13 seconds. Quite the middle of the entire thing. Oh, okay, I, I really wasn't expecting this, this random shot. I don't remember the name of this character. This is just the guy from the police station who is called uh, by Dennis's father after their disappearance. Spoiler alert, I guess. So the first frame from the movie is just going to be just a random dude holding a, holding a phone. Okay, um... Let's hope the next one is going to be a little bit more interesting. The next one is 77 minutes and 10 seconds. Is that already the credits or something? <laughs> Quite the opposite end. Um, so what I'm going to show here is Dear YouTube is a person covered with tomato sauce. Um, he's been working on some pizza and uh, what you see here is the, is the pizza bread 
that kind of exploded into his face and all of this is just a bunch of tomato sauce please youtube spare my life but this this is a really brilliant shot i'm going to have a really hard time with making this angle looking upwards angle possibly the hardest one that you can do with a face at least for me now we have only one left and i really hope that it is going to be one of the family members so let's hope for that okay the third one is going to be 39 minutes and 33 seconds just before the other one we have dennis and mary in the car i will uh, scout around to find the frame where it's like the least blurred but that is going to be our third one i just realized that half of the picture is cut off because of the recording like this okay i was uh, <laughs> i'm going to be completely honest i was hoping for some better shots like this one or uh, anything involving captain spalding like you know uh, this one i just <laughs> randomly clicked in here and uh, he's the one who appeared well i don't know <laughs> this is what we get and this is the point of this whole challenge to not choose just our favorite characters from the movie and just make three perfect recreations of uh, whatever scene we like the most but to actually somewhat challenge ourselves so let's get into it i totally forgot to write down the exact time codes doesn't really matter uh, what i didn't think about is uh, this movie is in a 16 by 9 ratio so i will need a uh, bigger canvas size for this okay here's my timer let's hope that i won't uh, accidentally click it down during the process actually can i i can oh that's gonna be a problem let's keep my cursor away from this thing i just rolled three frames with faces on it one of them is a hard angle and another one has two faces on it challenging myself yay starting stronger with the time ticking and no seconds to spare because i was uh, about to work on four faces in total the first one with the police station guy whose name is frank houston i checked it for your enjoyment i went really easy on this one the whole face was uh, at a pleasant angle easy to paint there were no crazy light situations either i just went into it right away almost just with full colors I have to admit uh, this hairstyle and beard uh, was quite easy to quickly mark down, they were just a few strokes undone. And I deviated from the original skin tones and I didn't get the expression just right, but making the whole little scene with all the elements went fine. Then came Jerry with some of uh, Dr. Satan visible, spoiler alert, once again. I just thought about it and this is pretty much the second goriest shot from the movie and I accidentally just rolled it out, like the other one would be the scene of the unmasked body, if you know what I mean. Uh, compared to how infamous this movie is, there are just not much actual brutality in it, at least I feel like that. Anyways, I'm just bloating my word count. I redrew this face at one point from scratch because I made it from a quite different angle and it was also really blurred out everywhere but the redraw is uh, much better. One detail that I didn't even notice in the movie before, that there is uh, just a candle in the background. There is just a candle placed in there, even for this really quick shot. Some cool small element for the scene. And you can hate the movie as much as you want, but uh, the sets and the designs were amazing, like every single one of them. You have to just admit that. Dennis and Mary in the car, that is a scene from an action sequence, where the car is attacked from multiple sides and the two of them are just panicking in the back seats. I was uh, glad to see that uh, the frame had two distinct uh, expressions of the faces, and also both of them are pushed into one corner to make it appear more dynamic. I mentioned the cold colors uh, somewhere in this video about this scene and I suddenly did manage to fully capture the blue light of this entire scene. It's like even the lights emit cold when you do it like this and uh, you see the people in the warm clothes trying to hide in the car while it's uh, raining and people are attacking them from the outside. 
I wish this scene was uh, slower and a bit longer though, just to, so we can spend the right amount of time with them in this situation. And uh, the painting, uh, <laughs> it uh, ended up okay. Okay, so this is where I got with my time frame. Um, you might discover a pattern here. So what I would say is uh, all of these were going nicely and then I just completely ran out of time. Like this one has many anatomy issues. This one, I like this atmosphere in the middle. Uh, also it has like just straight up missing elements. The third one deviated quite a lot in terms of uh, color scheme, but I feel that I mostly get like the expression and the gesture of the two characters. I am uh, gravely afraid <laughs> that I wouldn't want to give this stuff out from my hands. So what is it that I should see? I don't want to just go ahead and add more time to it. But what if I rolled one more picture. I'm going to roll two more pictures and I'm going to add the entire time back. Improve all three of these and do two more. I feel like I'm getting caught up in a spiral when I'm adding more instead of doing stuff better, but I feel like I can roll two more pictures and see where we go with another uh, 89 minutes. And I was thinking about making a really I have a feeling I'm gonna regret this. Let's do the impossible and roll two more pictures. First one, minute 82, 56 second. Almost the end of the movie, literally the last scene. Then he's walking away. Yes, this is going to be <laughs> our frame and it is just the face with a roughly natural expression. Most of it can be done with a really abstract distortion like the hair with all the uh, rubble in it and with the blood on the face. It is not going to be that hard. The next one is 68 minutes. Exactly. Okay. Oh, I see where this is going. Please. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. One hour and eight minutes. Possibly one of the best scenes in the entire movie. I'm going frame by frame. Hey, come on! Don't! Don't! Ah! Uh, okay, this is Mary running in the giant bunny costume and she's almost obscured by the tree at the start of this exact second. I like how there's this shadow going on in the ground. Okay, I feel like I'm going to be too, way too enthusiastic about this one scene and I'm just going to neglect everything else. Okay, I expanded my canvas and this is how my layers look now. So I want to organize them a little bit. I'm actually still surprised that we didn't get to accidentally stumble upon a frame of one of the family members. like. It's going to bug me until the ends of time. After I tidied up uh, this uh, absolutely disgusting layer rack, I jumped into the next two studies along with trying to fix up the earlier ones. One thing you might notice in the video, I was uh, talking with a few people during this uh, both sessions actually. I feel like it would have been somewhat better to do them in silence, but at the same time it really got some uh, pressure off me during the process. I definitely wanted to try it out. Now for the other pictures, first Dennis in the last scene was a victim of my reckless splattering. I feel I butchered her face quite a bit to the point she's absolutely unrecognizable, but the overall key shot was captured, at least I feel like it was, and I'd say it ended up with some nice colors. Doing uh, just a face study from this scene along with the dirt in her hair and uh, the blood on the face, just the expression would uh, worth a try and I might come back to it. I just really like this shot as simple as it is. The other one, the rabbit chase scene, I totally messed it up when it comes to approach. I should have used some uh, careful layers to make the silhouette of the character 
then somehow mix out the colors, maybe with an adjustment layer to really make it work. I just want to praise every shot from this movie. This is uh, one of the most memorable ones for me. Just a giant costume running in the ra in the night. I'm a bit disappointed I didn't manage to make it into a better picture. For the rest, I overall improved all of them, though much less than I could have with some more care. The one with Jerry and the one with the two women are definitely my strongest works from the series. I wish I ended up getting at least one of the family members though, like, you know, Otis, Baby, Mother Firefly, Captain Spalding, all are so brilliant, but we sadly didn't get them and no images of the house, literally, these all take place outside of the location after which the movie was titled. Well, uh, if I ever do the Devious Rejects, I'm sure we get some of the family at least. What have I done? These are the final results for the uh, about 3 hours long challenge. So I definitely feel that this one ended up becoming the best. I even showed these in an earlier stage to someone and they, they also said that this one was their favorite. It was like just the, the just this atmosphere with the red just overwhelming your eyes as you are looking at this. And like there's the there's the other scene which is like a cold night in the rain and they are uh, hiding in their car. It's like everything is really cold including the colors and you can just like barely see any other colors like the red of this uh, hat. You know, the guy from the police station that nobody would ever in their life recognize just from one picture. It's like questionable I would say, but uh, it didn't end up awful. This one uh, I know, <laughs> this is literally my least favorite, but yes, this is generally really underwhelming, especially with the with the character, or just, uh, I, I, I really messed up the character, I was trying to, like, scander it out, and then it just, I was just pushing colors back and forth, and even the whole shape of the character is totally lost. This one, maybe this uh, haze helps a lot. I'm not entirely sad how the how the whole facial expression and the blood turned out. Definitely more underwhelming than uh, let's say these two. I, I would say that I'm pretty fond of these two pictures. Overall, I feel that the atmosphere that I was really aiming for is there on each one of these. And I'm going to count this uh, <laughs> this project as a one quarter of a success. Let's leave it at that. It's a one quarter of a success project. I actually I was thinking about uh, like titles for this video, and I I came up since this is a Rob Zombie movie. I was thinking about the like overdone titles that he does all the times. And I came up with this title, The Spectacular Self-Imposed Failure of a Kitsch Painting Charlatan. <laughs> it's like, it just rolls off your tongue, doesn't it? I'm still not sure if I want to use that as a YouTube title. I mean, you know, just imagine the millions of people who are going to see this and, oh, I want this, I want to click on this video. That's gonna be the best thing of my entire existence. I'm, I'm not sure, I might just call it studying frames part 3. <laughs> I wanted to finish this with the video yesterday so I'm going to just go and cut it together and I will see what I can do with the first episode of the Halloween project but until then have a nice day do some art even if it is just a bunch of gory frame studies from a 2003 movie that's actually 20 years so that's movie that's nice to think about it. I just went off rail, most importantly. <laughs> Have fun while doing that and farewell. Okay, so I... <coughs> I just left and my camera froze when I was leaving the room. It's super creepy. <laughs> Look at that. And now my camera ratio is all messed up.
Ah, camera picture just simply appears as laggy. You know, it's like the, 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 the you know. <laughs> Self-expression level 99, okay, let's start it. Hey, before the video starts, I just wanted to come with... The thing with my neck beard is I always feel that, okay, this is this is better than, than the double chin, it's better than the double chin, it's better than the double chin. And then I always reach a point when, hmm, is it really better than the double chin? And I cut it down and I realize, yeah, this is better than the double chin. 